Hey guys, it's Jimmy with Skulls and Roses. Um, gonna show you how to maintenance your G4 and adjust your trigger sensitivity. This video was requested by one of our viewers. Alright, uh, things you're gonna need is G4 manual, uh, grease, uh, and if you don't, if you want to reduce your bolt stick, some uh, oil. Oh, like thin oil. Yeah, like, like get get a good one, like a violent PB oil is good, or gold cup oil, something like that. Uh, like a old barrel swab, the biggest Allen key, and I don't know what size this is, but this is the Allen key you need to use to adjust your trigger sensitivity. All right, uh, first we're gonna start with the uh, trigger sensitivity. Uh, in your manual, it's gonna say it's screw C, which is the screw on the top. It's like you follow the trigger all the way up. There's a there's a screw right on the top. It's black. You're gonna to increase your trigger um, sense, uh, increase or decrease the magnetic pull, increase your trigger sensitivity, you're going to turn it counterclockwise. And it will make your uh, trigger much easier to pull. So that's how you adjust your trigger sensitivity. You can fool around with that. See what you get. Alright, now we're going to do maintenance on the bolt. So you're going to take your biggest allen key you got. Take, put it on the back. Unscrew it. Take that out. And your o ringless bolt. Now what you're going to want to do is take like a pa piece of paper towel or whatever you got. Like old squeegee or whatever. Put it through. Make sure you get all the old uh, little bit out of there. If you use a squeegee, make sure the fuzz doesn't get in your eyes because then it's gonna mess your gun up. Um, and you're gonna take paper towel and you're gonna wipe off all the old lube off. Alright, now what you're going to do, um, take like a uh, Q-tip or whatever. Well, that's how it says in the manual. So it says in the manual. You can use your finger, whatever. If you want to be all by the book, you can use the Q-tip. Be all by the book? Yeah. Take a, take a drop, put it on your finger. Don't use too much because then that's not good for yeah. the gun. Yeah, then it gets in your barrel and then you start, cur you start curving and everything. That's all messed up. Alright, and you're gonna get the lube everywhere, all over the bolt, rub it around. And you're gonna take your bolt, put it back in, and push it all the way forward until it stops. It should go past the feed neck. You should be able to see it from the feed neck. Now you're gonna take. You can. I got. It. My bad. All right. Uh, take a like a little drop or whatever. A little bit. And you get the top O-ring. Get the bottom here. I don't lube the bottom O-ring with the oil. I use a grease. So. Swipe your fingers off. Switch over to the grease. Going with a, a thinner lube uh, helps reduce the bolt stick because of the o ringless bolt. Alright, take a little grease, get it on your finger, and you're just going to get it on that bottom o ring. Gets a, a better seal on the gun. Alright, now that that's done, you can take that. Put it back in, take your allen key, I'm going to screw it back in. Alright, now that's 
screw back in. What I like to do to make sure you have all like just get all like the lube uh, like mixed around the gun. You take the tank. We're gonna put it into the gun. Alright, all right, now that your tank's screwed in, gas up your gun, turn your eyes off, dry fire it a couple times. Alright, now um, that you know your gun, your bolt's working, so uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, how to maintenance the gun. Uh, if you have any questions, right. comment, um, comment, rate, subscribe. If you got any questions, email us or comment on this video.